Okay, this is it. Moment of truth. I'm able to finally be done with all of the side quests around this area. And now it's finally time for me to explore the deep secrets of the Earth. What am I expecting? I mean, I've played this game before, but I don't remember this specific quest. So I have no memory whatsoever. So it seems like I'm playing for the first time, even though I'm not. But let's let's go. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Am I right? Dang. Her spear is pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. I spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world, where the machines came from, how the old ones achieved such marvels, only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until Honora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. She should be able to open up the door, especially based off of the DNA being confirmed. close Entry to the doctor. Malfunction. Malfunction. What? Malfunction. Again? Malfunction. You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? Wait, what? Through this door. Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Uh, yes? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. So because of the fact that she has the same voice as Elizabeth, She's finally able to get through the door. Whoa, what's happening? I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. Great. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. I mean, it does seem like it could be a lobby of some kind. Can't be too prepared. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just stuff for me to read. Honestly, I'm not in the mood to read anything. i rather listen to voice recordings. I find that a lot more interesting. Alright, let me see what this door leads to. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. Another lobby. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. Snacks? Sna where's the snacks? Where's the beverages? Hook me up. I like some popcorn, some pretzels. I like some. Ooh, what's this? Nah, it's just more reading. I want some pistachios. Do you have pistachios? No. Man, this place is corny. The service here is one star. Seriously, you'll hear about it in my Yelp review. Okay, is that something for me to listen to? Huh. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit. Okay, say less. What? What was this place? 
a holographic theater. CD01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm of sure course. Of course the U.S. would be the one to create machines like this. Makes sense. miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. <gasps> what? is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Wow. Nothing will save us. Shocking plot twist. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No That's hardcore. Kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The that would have been way too easy, though, because you know. Protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Cracking a code set would take half a century. Fifty years? Yes. We've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? Yeah, why? Seriously. One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. So Zero. this is a suicide mission. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Paris. Out. Wow, just to think. Just to think. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. You didn't hear Elizabeth's plan, though. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Just imagine going into a war where there is a 100% chance you will lose. I don't know how I would mentally... Mentally deal with that, honestly. And to give such false hope at that high rate. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! Oh, shoot. What is this place? Did he say, if it moves, kill it? Some nerve. Some nerve. Is there anything- Oh, wait, wait. Is that something for me to listen to? Yay, hey, thank Mr. you. Susan Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. 
And that's where she conveniently leaves off. I love this. But seriously, though, enduring victory is a sham. False hope. Well, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not. The Bye. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker. What the hell? Come here. I'm trying to listen to this podcast here, and you're over here interrupting me. Anyways. For that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it, next, there's no hope for people on that thing, alright? If you could try to remain calm. You people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Uh, they put him in the crazy bin for a bit because he was literally losing his mind. I can't blame him, though. The urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we could negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your the audacity to compare it to the Manhattan Project, a that's a Harris very said. interesting so then, comparison. You did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? It is accurate, yes. So these mechanical monstrosities, they don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people. All wow! Dissolved into nutrients. Wow, that's insane. Liquefied. Oh my the gosh, that's horrible. That's disgusting. Fire. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, doctor. Please tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Oh no, Tom definitely wants more than a word. He's saying these these hands read E for Pharaoh only. No, but seriously, Ted Pharaoh has the audacity to create a product that feeds off of our biomatter. And there's no safe code to stop it. Want to discuss? How reckless can you be or stupid in this case? Right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Oh, now, I'm not surprised. Kind of all that speaking in tongues and I such, sense a theme here. When she did use her words, it was always end times this and the lake of fire that. On kind of Enduring victory lifestyles. is the revelation chapter. Which, is that what you're trying to say? Smoke. A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Price on your know, head? Are you a criminal? Me. Don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? Were they hiring the criminals to help? She's an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee. What is blood Conflict coffee? Cappuccino. Conflict cappuccino. What is that? To proceed. Just. What the hell is blood coffee? Is 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 it orange coffee? Who previously worked for Faro Automated Systems? 
upon the chariot line self-replication routines. I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. He's looking for redemption for his crimes. I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but Ted could really sell a concept and 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 in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run. When when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory? Oh, he's light. responsible for helping to build it. Okay. God, there were no limits. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I just love listening to the recordings. It definitely gives me more insight as to the background, the lore of this game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think the recordings are pretty good insight or just a waste of time? You've heard the bad news. And it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. I love how she named the plague after Pharaoh. Petty, but I love it. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. Go on. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before. I love done. how they're named up their Greek gods. It preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on... Fit wow, to... under 400 days! The they had to figure all of this out within a year and, what, a month or two? How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the Nera. transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged... Wow! Wow! Gaia is responsible for creating these the animals to replace to them. Rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. Wow. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. And that's your answer, Alloy. That's how that you're future. still alive. You're a copy of Elizabeth.
a surviving copy. That's so interesting. The whole earth destroyed, but then remade. I mean, basically, yeah. By a machine. A machine of. Well, carbon copies of yesteryears. Did this for life. Kind of like an Omega. then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that I'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead ahead right through that door let's go open up open up I'm interested this is so intriguing let me see what's this Ah, uh, more reading. I'm good. But dude, so even though all of the humans died due to their tireless efforts of basically making copies of themselves, suddenly the human race had a brand new start. A chance to live. Of course I'll do it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh... The, the, the damaged Brad like, poor Brad I, I he feels so bad but, but I, I will do it absolutely I want to stress that this was never about your culpability uh, it, it is to me Dr. Sobek Margo they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did but but not one of us took it as a warning sign it, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals but that's the, the, the better than rapid innovation but, but better at competing better than the next guy a, a better killing machine I think it's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. That's why Brad wants to do this, so he won't have to feel bad for all the shitty he stuff he's been doing. Yes. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great. Naturally, Extensive doubts are coming for me. This is a big risk Dr. after Sobex all. Forget Miriam? No, no. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Damn. Sometimes it never comes back. So that's the vibe, huh? East. Like the Congo, like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. Damn! Oh, a habitat Damn. capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge wow. challenge. Wow! That's a slap in if her face, I can tell. Instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. What? I want no part of this. Suzanne! I Suzanne! What? Protocols Suzanne! Change your mind, please. Come on. Give it a chance. Holy cow! So she basically signed up to... to... be killed. You know, like, those assisted suicides that's legal in certain countries? Wow, that's crazy! You know, this is why I love these recordings. They really do give me all the tea on what's going on. Like, holy cow. Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. Mm -hmm. For your protection. Medical Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought... I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it's... Oh, Jesus. 
I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. So let me guess, you want to die too, huh? <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you? You don't. Get your hands off me! Uh oh, some tussling going on. Whew, so some people don't really think Elizabeth's idea is doable. But then again, this is going beyond science fiction in terms of creating a whole new life. Oh my goodness, the team. What? Are you kidding me? Whatever you do, don't die now? Really? That's the advice you would give me? Ooh. You know what? Let me use this, because they're annoying me with their stupid weapons. Come on. Come on, baby. Burn, burn, burn. Thank you. All right, who else? Another one, right? Come here. Pull up. How many machines do these people have? Like, seriously, that's so annoying. Like, grow up. You think some machine like yours is gonna stop me? I have plot armor, bro. Of course I'm gonna survive. Are we done here? So corny, so juvenile. Oh man, let me take this. You know how I am with my mushrooms. Thankfully, it's not the ones that get me high, because I wouldn't want to mess with those, but still. I hashed it out with them, what the point of Artemis was. I made it clear I wasn't on board for a global zoo. We haven't exactly proved ourselves to be great custodians in the past few thousand years. So the idea of a reconstituted biosphere, well, it's horrifying, isn't it? A complete horror show. We have no right to take a best guess at this stuff. But the alternative? Nothingness. For there to have been all this and then... Nothing. And with Charles Ronson running the show, I respect him. He's got a passion to him. He's hot-blooded. So I said I'll do it. I'll put my all into this, literally. When the project is done, I'll take the medical option, thank you. Wow, he Council wants to die too. My mind. What is up with these I people? He didn't know me very well. I know it's a slim chance, oh, but a chance is a chance still. I'll do the dirty work. But I want no part of this pathetic, attenuated future on offer. I'm an outdoors man. Never did like the feel of solid state lighting on my skin. And a wee bit of a claustrophobe, anyway. Okay, to each their own. Whatever. Zero Dawn. He is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? Christina is having an existential crisis I here. I graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvé? Christina Souvé? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my tours. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in the auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair. Not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art, Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. That's why they chose you, Christina, because you're such an art nerd. That's cool. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute. And just going down a checklist after all. Power's down. Couldn't expect her to see how it's ridiculous the COD's ambitions I've are. God's own just budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? 
extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn and no man, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey, the counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Elysium is the place where people, I guess, are chilled out until whatever happens. Man, no wonder a lot of people signed up to die instead. I don't know. This whole thing, I can tell this whole thing was such big, such controversy. I mean, what would you guys decide? Want to be lived up in a controlled box-like environment or die? Like, what, what kind of options is that? I, I want to know what to do if I was in that case. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.